Hey everyone, this is Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, it's a fast follow on my scripting and flow designer video, or, or scripting like a boss. And uh, that same day that I recorded the video, Olan uh, posted in the developer community um, exactly what I was talking about. So he, in his post, he talks about getting questions of people doing date comparisons and wanted to do that in flow designer. And there's some um, glide date time functions that I showed in my last video where I was actually putting that in um, an action within service or within flow designer. So what he did is he created uh, some comparison operations with actions and uh, put them in an update set and you know put them out there for anybody to download. So you can see here he's got uh, difference in minutes, difference in hours, difference in days, difference in weeks. And the key concept here, what I want you to take away is if you're doing stuff over and over again in scripting, whether that's in Flow Designer or elsewhere, go ahead and package that into something like an action where you can reuse it and repurpose it and you're not going and writing that same script all the time. So what I'd like to do with you is I wanna actually uh, open this up and import it in my PDI uh, with you watching. So he put it over on Share on the developer site. So I'm gonna go over there and uh, do the download so you can see kind of the way um, to do this safely. Let's uh, you just never know what people are posting. Now, Olam's been around for a while. He's got definitely got a good reputation. I'm going to open up this XML file in Notepad++. And what I'm doing here, um, and what I'm showing you, is that I'm downloading something, but I'm just going to validate this is what it is. So it's supposed to be an update set, so let's confirm. It was created by Ola Norlander, and uh, it's his date compare for Flow Designer. That's the update set. And we can see in here that this is an update set, and that if we look down here, it's basically a action type definition is what the, is in this payload. So if we scroll through, we can see yeah, he's doing some stuff in there. He's got some uh, a script here that's running through and doing his comparison. And I'll just scroll all the way at the bottom. There's a lot of stuff here in the payload. And we can see that this XML file wraps with, um, hey, this is actually the end of his date compare for Flow Designer. So everything looks good, everything looks safe. We're not importing any viruses or malicious code into our PDI. That's just what I wanted to validate by opening up the XML. So everything looks good. Thank you, Ola, uh, for giving us safe code there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead now to my PDI and navigate over to local update sets. Uh, let's do update. There we go. And we're just going to import this XML file that he gave us. So uh, we'll wait, wait for it to load up here. And what you can do in ServiceNow on the headers for any of your list views, just right click and do an import XML. And you could do this from any table. I didn't have to go to local update sets. And we'll just pull in that date comparison flow designer um, update set, we'll upload it. And then we should see that. I'm just gonna search for date here. And actually it started with date, so we just search for date. Uh, it's not showing, uh, well, you know this, I let's go to the wrong one. Let's go to the retrieved update sets. And there we go. And maybe it's showing there. There it is. Okay, date compare for Flow Designer. So let's open that up. We can see he created it. And we'll go ahead and look it over. It's got that syshub action we saw in the XML file. So I'm going to go ahead and preview it. And by previewing it, it's just checking the file, making sure it's good and that there's no conflicts or issues. Um, so we see there uh, in the blue, or the was blue, there's uh, no collision. And uh, there's only just one insertion. So let's go ahead and commit that update set. And while that's committing, I'm going to go ahead and pop open Flow Designer so we can go in there and look at that. Uh, we'll just check on how that did there. Okay, it's 99%. That's giving Flow Designer a chance to load up. If you use Flow Designer, you know it's not exactly uh, really fast. So let's go ahead and start a flow here so we can see these. Um, we'll call them Ola's date comparisons. I love that people are able to share stuff like this. Um, for everybody to benefit from. That really is the, the one of the really nice things about the platform. Um, this should have been committed by now. Nope, still 99%. Only 400 lines, come on. Okay, that succeeded with 100%, and so that's just gonna refresh that page. And over in Flow Designer, we're still waiting for that to come up. Okay, so we got that. I'm just gonna set a trigger here to be a catalog item, so I don't have to mess with anything. And then um, I'm gonna look at my action here. And um, we should have, we'll just do date compare. I think that's what was in his screenshot. Okay, there we go. I finally searched. And okay, there's our date compare um, that he put in there. So we have a starting date time and an ending date time that we can populate 
with that particular one. And if we go look at, um, I'm going to go back home here in Flow Designer and look at the actions that came in. And we'll just see the updated. So we can see here, he's got uh, the date compare, which came in um, on the today. And there's the one that I was doing in my previous video. So let's open up his action and actually take a look at what he's doing. So there's those inputs, the starting date time and ending date time. And then his script that does a comparison is right there. So we can see it's quite a bit of code, right? So you're doing a lot there, um, doing the comparison and it can return the difference in minutes, hours and days. Um, so there's a lot actually going on. And then the output, he's gonna output the difference in minutes, difference in hours, difference in days. So that's cool. So it's actually not five separate actions like I thought it was in, um, in this one right here, where you can see the uh, what's coming through. It's actually gonna return all of those values. So I'm not gonna just say, hey, I want a date comparison for the minutes, hours, and days. It's just gonna go ahead and calculate everything and return all of that with that function. And you'll now have the difference in minutes, difference in hours, difference in days, difference in weeks. So um, again, I'll just emphasize here by looking at this script, what Ola did is instead of doing this over and over and over again inside of a flow um, and having to find the difference in the days, hours, or minutes, he's encapsulated it inside of an action that now can be dropped in any flow, any subflow, for someone who's not technical to actually use. So the, all they have to do is either hard code in a date and time by using the date and time picker. Um, they could drag and drop something from a data pill, or they could now uh, dot walk their way through um, a date time. So we have the run date time, we have a requested item um, record that's associated with that, so we could pull a date time from that, and then just drop that in, and then we're gonna get back um, those inputs, if you see above my head, um, the difference in minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you're starting to get the idea of how we can take scripting and enhance our flows and flow designer, but then repurpose that and use them and let other people who are not developers, not people who script, use those uh, actions in their workflows, in their flows. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. Till next time, I'll see you on the next one.